So you've got Tajay Spears and Tony Pollard on this team uh, two times this season. Once was my question to the Titans running back coach, and, and once was last week a question to Brian Callahan uh, from somebody else in the media pool. The, the idea of, hey, these guys seem sort of like it's not Derrick Henry and Tajay Spears, where clearly these are two different birds of a feather. They, you know, they are going to do different things. You can look at them once with your eyeballs and say, those guys do different things. That's not the case with, with Spears and with Pollard. So are they going to be super similar play styles? Are they going to be utilized in different ways? Is it going to be a true split? What's the receiving versus rushing? I, you know, what's the, what's the plan at least with these two guys? I'm going to give you what I think they want to do JT. And you can either agree or disagree and give your thoughts. I think they are going to utilize Pollard more in the traditional running back role and Spears more in the change of pace, scat back out of the backfield receiver role. Now, that's not to say that I don't think they're going to hand the ball off to Spears. I do. But I think when it comes down to it, if you told me at the end of the year, Pollard got, a, you know, he, he got 60% of the carries. He had 60% of the yards rushing, whereas Spears was 60% yards and re and receiving targets uh, on on the pass catching side that's kind of where i think they're going to come down with it i think their skill sets um lend themselves to those roles i think the the yards after catch ability with with spears as an underneath option as a guy in the flat you work it to him on on a screen and just let the guy go to work that 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 freaky athleticism that he has get ahead full of steam on the, on outside the numbers like that. That's where I would want to be using him most often. And I think that's what they're going to end up doing. Yeah. I, I have to agree with you because, you know, from the second that they signed Tony Pollard, it felt to me like that this team and specifically Brian Callahan kind of wants to recreate what they did in Cincinnati. You know, you bring in Tony Pollard to be that Joe Mixon type of guy, you know, he's kind of, uh, a little bit in that same mold of a Joe Mixon, right? He's a little bit older in his career, maybe in the middle to the back end of his prime. This guy who's going to be getting the ball, uh, you know, a decent amount every game in the last two seasons. Joe Mixon had 257 and 210 car 210 carries in those two seasons. Um, you know, playing that role where he's the guy that you're going to pound the rock with when you need to, and then you have the guy. Uh, who is that change of pace in Cincinnati over the last two years? In 2022, it was Saman J. P. Ryan, and in 2023, it was the electric lightning bolt of Chase Brown. Like, I think that's where you get you start to see Ty J. Spears like be able to find a role in this offense in that you know Saman J. P. Ryan, Chase Brown role in, in 2022, where Saman J. P. Ryan played uh, every game. He had not 95 carries for 394 yards. Um, and two touchdowns as well in that season. So I could see definitely him fitting into that type of role, except probably on steroids because of how good Ty J Spears is and how much like they should definitely utilize him in this offense. Um, you know, so I definitely see that maybe Tony Pollard gets more of the, the gritty, you know, shove it down, shove it down your throat kind of role. Uh, and then you give Ty J Spears the, the super sexy, like, uh, designed throws and plays out, out of the backfield. Right. There, there's going to be less opportunities in terms of rushing. The Titans, you know, in 2022, 460 attempts. In 2023, 420 attempts. For reference, Cincinnati in 2022, for example, you know, the, a full year with Joe Burrow, 370 attempts. Last year, maybe more heavy on the rushing. No, just kidding. I, I was just guessing based on the fact that they lost Burrow even less rushing attempts that year, 353. That maybe that's a reflective of them trailing more often and having to pass more often. That, that makes some sense there. The point being, I think the 350 to 370 range in terms of total handoffs this season is where they're going to be residing. And so it makes for an interesting um, comparison when you try to look at what Tony Pollard is going to be. The last two years in Dallas, he, he puts up 1,000 yards in each. But that was him as the the main, you know, the bell cow guy, primarily the main guy. Um, he's not going to I don't think he's going to be that here. I think it's going to be a 50 50 split. Now, when you go back to when it was Zeke and Pollard and he was the change of pace guy for the Dallas Cowboys, that was not 50 50. You had Zeke almost getting 300 snaps or, uh, and, and Tony getting 150. So it was kind of a two thirds, one third kind of deal. But even then, on 130 attempts, Pollard put up 719 yards. I think that is closer to realistic. I, Vegas has his 
uh, rushing total this year set 800 something last I checked. Um, so that, that, you know, I, I think that's reasonable. I think both guys being in the 700, 800 yard rushing range. If Pollard comes out with more yards, that's kind of to be expected for me last year. Just to look at what Ty J did a um, hundred rushing attempts, 450 yards, and then receiving wise 50 receptions for uh, almost 400 yards. So uh, the, the, you know, two times as many handoffs, but almost the same in terms of total yardage. I think you could see that ultimately being the situation for him. If in 2024, he has 150 handoffs and 107 targets, and it's kind of a 50, 50 split where he's got 600 yards, rushing 600 yards, receiving that's kind of where I think he's going to fall. Yeah, I can definitely see that. But once again, I feel like just with, with this, what this offense is doing, it's going to be a total crap shoot on that one. 800, I think is probably on, on the high side for Tony Pollard. Uh, this year, just not because I, I don't think that he could obtain it. I just think the way that they're going to use him is going to lend itself to being more of that. I think I could see him around 700, 650, 700 yards range where Ty J Spears is going to be that explosive guy. Um, I would love to see a Ty J Spears 800 yard, you know, coming out party this year and, and sure. use him. Uh, we saw those flashes in, in almost every game last year for Ty J Spears. I, and if we can see him more consistently, I have no doubt that he can definitely get there. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for that. Want more of the latest from the Hot Read Podcast? Subscribe to the channel right below. And follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at Hot Read Pod for even more segments, clips, and announcements.